I've been with the All Blacks for 15 years. Outside of that environment, I work as general manager for Harcourts International, um, a global real estate company. So I sit on the board of that company and assist them with their strategic vision and the operation of that business around the world. Inside the All Black environment, I've had a number of roles. My main area of responsibility is in the equipping the players with the skill sets to be able to perform under pressure. So when everything's on the line and they've got to strut their stuff, you know, it's the skills that uh, I have to educate them with to enable them to do that job. Pressure can be a friend or a foe, and we do a lot of work on understanding that it becomes your friend because you know that whenever you feel it, you're in that space where great things happen. N not good things, not average things, but, but great things. And so we want them to have the attitude of to say, bring it on, and we don't want them to turn away from it. We want them to walk towards it because they know that's got some specialness attached to it. Thinking about pressure in the business context is no different. If you meander through your day and you're not pushing yourself into those limits of uncomfortableness, you'll we'll never achieve the aspirations that any business may want to achieve. We think um, being vulnerable is a gem. It's a quality that is extremely valued in this environment. So, you know, if you, if you don't know how to do something or you're not sure of what to do or how to do it, then you ask someone and you tell someone. It's not a weakness, it's absolute strength. The things that the men in this environment do, and the women we have that work within management, it's a combination of understanding that um, you can't have the, the tap on full all the time. And if you are continually thinking and you are continually working so the tap's dripping and dripping and dripping every day, you'll burn out. So understanding what the key activities or things are that decompress you, whether it's exercise, whether it's massage, whether it's movies, whether it's time with mates, but having an understanding of what works for you. In business and in sport, the complacency is a curse, you know, and, and it's a curse because it sneaks up on you. You get situations where people have been there for a long period of time and they think, well, I've been here 10 years, what do you got for me? What are you gonna give to me? And this whole sense of entitlement reigns. So we drive in this environment um, a culture where where you're at ain't good enough where you're at is a place for you to determine where you've got to go. If you've got strong leaders and the culture's great that are thirsting to keep pushing you up and keep pushing you forward, then you will be better at managing the times where it can actually seduce you. You know, you learn so much more when you fail because it, you get more uncomfortable. So we've had to teach ourselves to challenge ourselves amidst environments where things are going well. And so, um, you know, accepting the whole notion of um, challenge and the whole notion of listening without fear and the whole notion of challenging in a way that takes you and the individual unit forward is something we embrace in totality.